the Bee Gees are also staying alive, everybody. They're coming back in form of the uh, movie. Ridley Scott's doing the Bee Gees biopic moving forward, and uh, they're staying alive. They're, huh? Uh, uh, alive. And, but anyways, Ridley Scott's well, negotiating right Friday. now. You'd be drinking. <laughs> I, I know. I, I get my impressions out early in the week so that I don't have to drink that much on a Friday. It happens anyways. That's <laughs> how it goes. But Scott Free Productions is going to be hopefully doing the BG's biopic. And uh, he's moving forward. <laughs> Michael Press <laughs> is his producing partner. And uh, they're going to, okay, they've had the rights for the BG's for a long time at Paramount. They got their life rights to the Gibb family estate back in 2019. And at that point, that meant they had the rights to the the music, the movie rights, the movie music rights in a movie. I mean, everything to do with the BGs, Paramount's had since 2019. They've been sitting on it. And the idea is to make something along the lines of the Bohemian Rhapsody movie. And it makes somewhere it really showcases this biopic. And it goes deep dive into what the BGs went through, how they formed, you know, how it all went down, and how they became a big success that was selling more than 220 million records and they were a big big band and of course we talk about staying alive that was a big hit i'm just doing the whole thing travolta the whole thing saturday night fever that was a big moment in their career but i think there's a lot more to their story than we actually know uh, it's a it's a big band so i'm kind of excited to see especially a director like ridley scott making this happen i love ridley scott i think anybody else if you can do epic movies that he can i want an epic gladiator type bg's movie like why not give me that shit all day i'm ready for it gladiator i think it'd be kind of cool Alien meets the Bee Gees. <laughs> 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 you know, you know, all that. I think that's freaking cool. Wouldn't be I'm staying down. alive, be staying dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jake's got a little bit going there. Got a little bit going. Uh, yeah, it could be easy, but I think it could be. It's got to be called Staying Alive, right? It's got to be called Staying Alive. It's got to be right. I don't know. Bee Gees staying alive. Got me. Yeah. Bee yeah. Gees. <laughs> BG, the BG. Uh, Jake, will this be a good idea? I think it's a good biopic moving forward. Is Ridley Scott the man to make this happen? How do you feel about a BG's biopic moving forward from Paramount? Uh, right, Tim. I think Tim's got a good point there. Yeah, it'll be good. Um, it might be. It's it's good timing because the people who are going to watch it lived through, you know, their their debut and all that. So, um, I probably won't watch it oh come on <laughs> i i don't i'm not i'm not i probably won't i don't know <laughs> yeah well let's be honest it's cruise control we're always honest on cruise control yeah <laughs> <laughs> gotta stay honest jake uh is there any aspect kid because they were a sensation jake they were a huge sensation uh do you know anything about the bgs besides staying alive and do you think though even 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 that's all you know uh do you think their career warrants a big big epic movie like a ridley scott movie to bring their life story to work or uh, to, to life, I should say. Uh, I don't know. I don't know enough on, about Jane. it. Like I know the song, <laughs> but um, I've. Will Travolta be in it? Uh, maybe. Can you imagine cast Bradley Cooper? That could be good, Tim. That could be really good. Is there anybody you can think of casting at all, Jake? Because you were in casting for a long time. Mm -hmm. While you were in, you know, you were in casting, but you're working with casting and working as a manager. Is there anybody that like just like tickles your innards a little bit to be like the cast of the Bee Gees? Uh, Justin Timberlake and Jimmy Fallon. Um, <laughs> he's he's got ideas right here, everybody. Give me a comedy, right? Let's see. And throwing today, uh, throwing Jack Black. Jack Black would be good. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah that would be fun. You, you, you knew some big old, you know, tenacious D. Uh, I was gonna say yeah, some of my bunch involved for sure. Yeah, Mark and his brothers, they could do it. Yeah, but. get Mark in there. Yeah, I'm doing so. That's gonna make that be a Bee Gees movie. It'd be good. Be staying alive. It'd be awesome. Get the, fun, from you. get the funky bunch back together. <laughs> yeah. Funk it up. Just funk it up. <laughs> it can be good. Rachel, got any casting ideas for this? Are you excited about Ridley Scott making a Bee Gees uh, biopic? I actually like the Bee Gees, so I, like, I'm kind of here for it. <laughs> um, uh, I think it's a good, a good idea. I think it could be really interesting. I think they're a very iconic band that a lot of people don't really know about that much about. Like their personal lives are behind the scenes. So I think it could be really interesting. Um, like the comments have said, Ridley Scott fucking nails it out of the park. So I don't, I don't have a problem with this. <laughs> I'm here for uh, it. Um, I hope it's my my hope with all biopics is that they are at least mostly accurate in their portrayals. We have gone through a lot of really sugar coated biopics lately, where they kind of skirt 
some issues that the artists may have had and they turn away from it and they just kind of don't acknowledge it. And I don't want that. I don't want that out of any biopic. People are people. People are dynamic. They aren't all good all the time. Yeah, yeah. Don't hide the darkness. Um, especially <clears throat> in the world of rock music and, yeah. and stardom and disco and, and all that. Like you're going to run into things that aren't going to be popular among people. You're going to have drug use. You're going to have womanizing. You're going to have all sorts of uh, things that people don't generally see as positive characteristics. And that's okay to portray because humans are dynamic. And I, I wish more uh, biopics would have more dynamic portrayals. And there's definitely, I got to say, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure there was some drug use here in this band. I don't know. I'm yeah. just saying at that time. At least, at least one of them OD'd, I think. Yeah. So... That's a, that's a whole that's a whole I bunch of drama they can showcase. To, to we may have lost lost it lost a G to the to the to the D. Um, I don't know, uh, but, but yeah, it's it's really sad that these rock stars go through this kind of stuff. Gr, did you did you like were you influenced by the Bee Gees at all? Did you love the well, Bee Gees? I don't, I don't I mean, like influence, but I mean, I, I mean, I you had the long to, hair. Were, you had the long were, hair like them too. You're well, rocking back it. in the day, I did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but but I mean, if, they weren't as big here on the in the papers and all that as they are down under. But that's yeah where they're yeah. from. But they they were a dynamic group, some incredible music, and I I don't know if they deserve a you know to be idolized, but they were incredibly incredibly musicians and unfortunately like so many of uh <clears throat> my generation they, they they imbibe too many different uh, substances yeah and which is very that hurt them and and eventually killed at least one we know of it's just sad that happens all the time too it's like unfortunate that people you know turn to substances and it's like you're so talented and you're doing so much then all of a sudden it's just like your life is just like you know, it just it destroys a lot of people. And yeah, I think do. that makes, it, it does, you know, for the studio, It I think it shows what not to be. And I hope they portray that, like how not to be, how you should be if you're going to do this business, like how hard it is on people. And I hope they're able to portray that. I think Ridley Scott can capture the grittiness and like really well, get he, into it and show it. it comes to he's that. such a freaking great director. Yeah. I'm very excited to see what he can bring out of this too. Most of them are gone here, right, Queen? It's, it's very sad. It's like, and that's why Paramount's had the rights to the estate for everything for second, since you 2019. Know, it, it makes me wonder, Brian, you know, we were talking about how many of, artists use drugs or alcohol. I'm wondering if for some reason artists don't have on some level uh, an addictive personality that they don't know about and they get into business and all of a sudden they start messing with stuff they and they're hooked. Yeah. It's so accessible. Once you reach a certain level of fame, people are just passing it out. It's just, especially yeah. in that time I mean, period, you'd, you'd go to a party, there'd just be cocaine everywhere. Oh, yeah. The first time I walked into a party like that, I it would there was a table, and yeah. there was co a pile of coke. I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh shit! So, I love it. Accessibility. Happy, calm down, the people. cocaine man. Happy, <laughs> calm down. Um, I'm actually really excited about that. <laughs> I know you are. Peppy, please. Well, you would be, Peppy. <laughs> hey, kids, don't do cocaine. There's fentanyl in it now. It's not, it's not um, good, Peppy. Yum, yum for the tum tum. <laughs> yeah, but Peppy, calm down, man. Rachel, continue. Sorry. Peppy's a little drug addict. I think uh, between the accessibility and the fact that certain personalities tend to be attracted to stardom, and there's also the pressures of stardom and it just it's it's all a combination that doesn't lead to a lot of people being able to resist that temptation or to not go too hard into it. Yeah, I think that I think it's very, it's very, you're right. It's, it's just, it just becomes too easy. It's too accessible. It's too, uh, the way, I mean, back in that day, two people are throwing around as oh, we're yeah. talking about. It was, it was on tables and people are just having a good time. It's normal. It was normalized so much. And the business is still like that. You see a lot of uh, artists and singers, they just get burnt out by it because again, there's, you're working how many days traveling and you're, you're working your body down. You're on the road all the time. Mm -hmm. And then we got, you need to pick me up. Is there alcohol or cocaine apparently, or what, you know what I mean? It's people just turn to that shit you know stay away from drugs mm -hmm. 
Yeah, right. Right, David Banner. Everybody said drugs, drugs are bad, including drugs are bad. Yeah. So bad. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But this is happening. The BG's movie. I hope that's called Staying Alive. And I hope that it is. Uh, I hope it's good. I hope it really does showcase all the good, the bad, the ups and the downs, lefts and the rights, the square root of all life. And I hope that it doesn't just like sugarcoat shit and make it be like, oh, the BG's are great. They were they were a great influence, in the, you know, and they were awesome and they had a good style and they helped. Staying alive becomes successful. I hope it's not that. I hope it's a way of showcasing the wrongs that happen to people that get involved in this business and the tribulations and the problems they go through because it's it's a lot they go through it in order to make this their career and to become successful. And unfortunately, let them get lost. And Bee Gees need a good story. Need a good story. They really do. But somebody else that needs a good story, and it kind of sounds great to me because there've been a lot, there've been a lot of them coming around. It's the Beatles, everybody. The Beatles for a long time. We just had a bunch of stuff come out with Peter Jackson with the Beatles. Of course, we had the last song just come out, and the Fleetwood, Fleetwood Mac movie would be fucking great too. But the, the Beatles drama. have had a lot of amazing, so much drama. That that I've been listening to that album Rumors a lot recently. It is oh, so yeah. good. Oh yeah. If anybody's if they going through anything in life, just about, oh, just the about rumors, rumors, it would yeah. be so be, good. Awesome. I'd be all about that. Like tomorrow, please doing cocaine and breaking up with each other. And it was amazing. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It it, it sounds like a great drama and it's a great story. I can't wait to see something like that happen. 